What's up YouTube, it's Andrew here again back with another video. Today I want to go over something super important. Uh, something not regularly talked about when you're talking about mods for the vehicle or anything like that. But it's super important. Today I want to talk about uh, med packs and med supplies that go in the rig. Uh, it's not wildly talked about maybe because it's not so glamorous like bumpers, lights, sliders, things of that sort. But it's super important and invaluable tool to have. Also getting trained on how to use the materials in here is super important. When you're miles away from civilization, out of cell phone service, having the knowledge, the tools, and the skills to uh, use any of the stuff in this pack to save a life is, is, is invaluable. So I want to thank my medic for sending out this pack for me. Uh, they were gracious enough to send this for a review. We're going to deep dive into this at the tabletop back inside, go over all the contents and see what they send in the advanced kit. Uh, that comes in a bunch of different colors and such like that, but we'll take a deeper look at that later. Now that we've gone over why I think we should have a pack like this or any sort of medical supplies in the rig, let's take a closer look and get back inside, get it open up the, we'll open up the pack here and see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the bag itself here. So we got the Velcro keeper on top. Some great big pools here. Snag free zippers, which are great. And then we open up to this um, kind of open clamshell style with the trifold extra here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna wanna start with this left hand side here. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's got a little zipper pocket here. First thing we see are some like steri strips. So these can help uh, you tape on one side of the wound and the other, and you know, pinch it, help pinch it close, keep that sealed. Comes with some uh, nitrile gloves, two pair, and their own little Ziploc bag. Uh, we got some electrolyte uh, drop-in tablets. Really great for. Now, if you've been out sweating really hard, say, you know, you were hiking from your campsite or anything, this would be really good to help uh, replenish some electrolytes, get you feeling a little better after a long day of sweating hard. Here we have kind of the, uh, let's say topical kit. Again, in it's nice Ziploc bag. We got some small things of sunscreen, which are always good to have some petroleum, uh, triple antibiotic, uh, ointment there, some oral uh, relief, oral pain relief, uh, some lip balm, in case you are out there and your lips are getting chapped, you've got chapstick or whatever. Here's some hydrocodone. Uh, we've seen all those. Okay, so that's the ointment bag. Uh, it looks like here we have uh, kind of the towelette baggie. Uh, so this thing is going to house some some of the wipes and such. Uh, nice thing here is we just got some nice um, hand wipes, just normal hand wipes. Uh, you know, you go out to barbecue and you got some sticky fingers. There you go. Uh, some iodine prep pads, couple of those antiseptic towelettes here. Uh, we got some ammonia towelettes here, some sting relief, which could be really good for when you're out in the uh, woods and stuff, and some sterile alcohol prep pads. So that is the little towelette one. All right, let's see. This might be kind of the pill-style medication one. So let's see here what we got in this bag. I really like how they... Um, divide all the stuff up into these little bags. Uh, keeps it so you can find stuff pretty easy. Uh, we got some Dremamine, good if you're going uh, camping, going through the mountains, somebody's getting a little sick. Uh, looks like we have some acetaminophen here. We just got a bunch of other, you know, pill stuff, some aspirin, ibuprofen. All right, some good stuff there. That's all that's in this bag, or this uh, little fold out pack here. Now we're gonna move to the, technically this is the front uh, pocket, I guess you could say. It's the side that faces outward. Uh, this is what's in this section. 
Starting on the left here, we have some sodium chloride, two of them, little saline rinses, that's good. Uh, we got a emergency pressure bandage, which is really good for, uh, like it says, holding pressure on something like a wound. It even gives you some nice instructions on the back on how to use it with uh, pictures, which is great. Uh, we got a MicroMen kit. This is uh, for some bigger, some bigger cuts without using stitches. Uh, it looks like it does come with some instructions for use, which is great. Those are for some slightly bigger cuts, not necessarily your uh, band-aid cuts, really. Looks like we have an elastic bandage. Oh, uh, elastic bandage. It looks like an elastic bandage with a uh, self-closure, which is nice. Um, elastic bandages are, are great to have. There are countless things you can do with an elastic bandage in a medical situation. We got some tape. Always could use tape, keep something in place. Uh, looks like it comes with a moldable finger splint in its own little bag again, which is really great. <laughs> That's great. Give broken bones the finger. All right. But yeah, a moldable uh, finger splint, which is really good to have. Let's see here. We got a little pack, kind of some extras. Let's take a look at what we got in here. We got some scissors. Uh, this should hold uh, some of the like oops, scalpels. Uh, this is some instructions for the uh, work at home COVID tester. Uh, just kidding. It is uh, just a thermometer, which is good to have. Tell if somebody's got a fever. Some really nice uh, needle point pliers, which could help really pick out some splinters or anything else like that. Here are the surgical blades for the holder here. So there's a few of them in there. And a uh, dilation light, eye dilation light. Uh, so it comes with this plastic sleeve. Make sure you don't lose this because the way you activate it is by pushing just this little clip down, makes contact. Then gives you, you know, dilation size of eyes, but this is to check for a concussion or anything like that. Really good to have there too. And last in this section is a triangular bandage. Uh, I mean, man, there's, like I said, another countless amount of things you can do with a triangular bandage. It really is a great thing to have. You can make a sling. I mean, there's plenty of resources online that you can look and see what you can do and how to use and when to use a triangular bandage. I suggest you check some of those things out. Now, we're gonna move to the uh, last pocket here, or pocket, it's just the back side here. This is the side that would technically attach to whatever you're attaching it to, or the back side, they say. All right, starting on this last pocket here, we have the space blanket that sits back here. This is really good to have in a kit of any kind, big or small, uh, that could be used in the last ditch effort to make a, you know, a lean-to shelter uh, just reflect heat. It's just good for a lot of situations. Um, a thing that they add in the advanced kit is a tourniquet. It's not my favorite tourniquet, but it is a tourniquet. Uh, I would suggest uh, leaving it out of this plastic bag. I would just throw this away. Uh, you don't want to have to be fiddling extra with the bag when you need a tourniquet. Um, this is a rat's tourniquet. It will work. I suggest uh, getting trained, seeing a video, watching anything, at least get some basic understanding. Uh, this is probably my least favorite of the tourniquets, uh, major tourniquets out there. Uh, for my pack, I'll probably keep it in here, find a pack I have that doesn't have a tourniquet just to keep it there. Um, I just don't like that one as much. It's a little bit more finicky. Uh, it's easier to mess up um, and, and apply it wrongly. If it were up to me, uh, I would switch that to my personal favorite tourniquet, which is the cat tourniquet. Uh, it just has a nice Velcro opening. You slide it over, uh, you tighten it as hard as you can with the Velcro, and then it's got a windlass uh, bar that you turn and you keep turning it until you stop seeing uh, like bright red blood. Uh, so 
it's just a better thing, better personally. Uh, I feel more comfortable with it as well to use. So as great as that tourniquet is that they include it in this kit, I would suggest at least finding a tourniquet. If you feel comfortable with it, go for it. I will be switching mine out for a cat tourniquet, which they do sell on their website, by the way. So there's that. Uh, so we got paracord here, which is, I mean, everybody who knows, knows that paracord could be used for a number of things. So that's great to have. Uh, kind of like a glow stick, you know, the crack and shake uh, sticks here. If uh, your redundancy of lights all fail or you don't have any or whatever, but uh, this is a really great thing to have and their packaging <laughs> is uh, some of the best here. So it says you can signal for help, which is great. You can slap your friend, have a lightsaber battle. It's a magic wand and so much more. I mean... Come on, that's pretty great. We have a whistle here, uh, which is always good to have, especially if you're stranded and you need to signal for help. Uh, yelling is not very effective and no matter how loud you think you yell, it does not travel as far as you think it does. Uh, a whistle will always travel farther uh, noise wise and carry longer than a voice does. So that's really great to have in the pack. Moving along. We have uh, in this pocket here, we have what looks to be kind of just like a bunch of bandages and stuff. So let's take a look in here. Starting with the front, we have some conforming gauze. Their sure skin is probably what I would consider mole skin. Uh, good to do for blisters. Uh, if you've been hiking a lot, uh, that's something great to have. Cover up those uh, hot spots. Uh, comes with just a couple bandage packs, um, you know, just this is probably just your basic band-aids. Uh, it shows you what they got in here. You can check the website too, but I'm assuming this is more of the boo-boo band-aid kit. And then the rest appears to be just a bunch of different uh, gauze sizes. So we got uh, sterile gauze pads, non-adherent pads, and some smaller sterile uh, gauze pads. So uh, a lot of stuff you can do with gauze, you can, uh, you know, Mix it in with this, use some tape, use the triangular bandage. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with just uh, uh, some sterile pads also. Moving into this last section of the med pack. This is uh, not a fun thing, but definitely a, it could be a life-saving thing. You know, you get a compromised airway, you can uh, help that. Uh, you know, how to measure. I would also suggest getting training on these, on how and when to use them also. But this is a really great thing. Could save a life. Next, we have um, a chest seal here. Chest seals are really good for um, sealing the chest. They kind of give you a quick instruction on here. But I would also get training, <laughs> like I said, uh, on when and how to use one of these. But this is good for a sucking chest wound. But we have a quick clot bleeding control dressing. So instead of, uh, they have like Celox, which is a quick clot agent. It's like a granule that you have to like put into the wound and that'll help uh, major bleeding slow down. Uh, it's not for all cuts. I mean, this is for major, major bleeds. Uh, but this is cool that it's a bandage and not just the uh, granules. Uh, looks like we have just the burn dressing, a uh, little kit. So a bunch of burn stuff in here and some shears for cutting off uh, clothing. When you need to administer aid in an area, it's a lot easier to cut through clothing to save somebody's life than to try to take their shirt off, take their pants off, especially if you need to apply a tourniquet, you need to cut to see where the blood is actually coming from. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with all of that. So with that being said, I mean, as you can see, maybe not so much right now, but there's stuff everywhere. And the fact that they can fit all this in this nice little compact uh, container here is really great. And there's some great items here. I think my medic really uh, hit it out of the park with this. Uh, they have plenty of other med packs. For example, I keep this smaller, uh, like the solo pack. I keep this in my uh, mountain biking bag. Uh, it's really small. It's a lot lighter than this, but it has some of the same stuff. It's kind of like, 
you know, like half the stuff. It still has the tourniquet and the advance kit, which is really good. So throw this in like a hiking bag. This could almost be thrown in a purse. I know a lot of purses get pretty large. Uh, so some stuff like that. They have a lot of different things uh, to choose from. They have refill kits to kind of refill any of the stuff that you might have used and need to go through or expire. You can add stuff to your own kits. Uh, so my medic really did a good job. Let's uh, take this back up top, give me my some final thoughts, and uh, yeah, see you back up top. All right, now that we've taken a closer look at what's inside this pack, I hope you guys understand the importance of some of these items and why you would want them when you're way out of cell phone service and out on the trail somewhere. I want to thank my medic again for sending this pack out. Uh, it's, it's a great pack and they have a bunch of different options. Make sure to check out their website. I'll make sure to have that link down below. Um, with that being said, this is a great pack, great quality. Uh, the price is pretty great, honestly, for what you get. They do have the advanced and the basic, so depending on what your needs are and what you already might have, you can tailor that to your own specific needs. Overall, my medic, my fat kit, great for being in the rig. Thanks for watching another video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.